Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Bada by Bolton. Um, I just want to do a quick little uh, talk about triggers. And um, triggers are something that we um, that we really don't think about until some things happen in our lives. And they have things that have happened to us when we were young. Um, I remember um, some things that happened to me that I didn't even know consciously that uh, they would affect on me until uh, I went through this person development uh, class um, a couple months ago, and it really brought out some things that that um, that bothered me, and I have anger issues around it, and I didn't even know that either. Um, so um, I think it's important that we um, uh, be aware of our triggers so we can uh, address them, and then <clears throat> learn from them, and we can uh, prevent them from happening. Sometimes, if we are aware of the triggers happening, because uh, I remember um, the one trigger that that really bothered me was. Uh, <clears throat> I remember um, when I was young that my my mother um, <clears throat> she was um, she was she felt some kind of way about something that my father had said to her, but it wasn't anything der der derogatory. But that I just saw her reaction, <clears throat> her reaction behind it, and her reaction behind that 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 comment really affected me. And as an adult, it affected me in my relationships, and so I had to address those. And I really didn't or was not aware of uh, that trigger until just uh, like several years ago. Um, uh, something came up in, in one of my relationships, so it's um, so it's important to us that we recognize our trigger. In fact, I had a trigger yesterday <laughs> with this all this snow that happened here and on the East Coast. I um, I have issues around um, being stranded and lost. <laughs> I don't know why, but it really uh, I was stranded in the uh, snow last night for several uh, hours, and and it really brought up some real uh, inter interesting issues around being um being stranded so i i'm gonna have to do some research and evaluate and figure out why that um that trigger um uh, why that affected me in some kind of way so just be aware of your triggers address them there's nothing wrong with them it's just being aware of uh what's going on in our bodies and our in our spirit and so we can uh change those things because if we're not aware of the triggers that are happening with us we're not going to make any changes with them so <clears throat> stay 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 in tune with your triggers and do um and, and do some uh, work around your triggers so once you identify your triggers it's important that you do the work around it so you can learn the lessons so you can take that uh take those uh, experiences and the lessons uh to you uh with you next on the next on your next phase uh i call it your 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 best teacher in life is your experiences so take those those triggers experiences and um so you can correct them and move forward and that's why i always say keep it moving yesterday is is, is behind us and today's a new day of new possibilities and um and i look forward to the new possibility and that's how i live my life new possibilities and i don't live in the past i don't live in the past i'm good at letting things go from yesterday and living in this moment and um tomorrow may never even be so living today recognize your triggers and, and and do something about your triggers you know so we can so you can be better as we try to be the best version of ourselves so we're not trying to be perfect we're just trying to be the best version of ourselves love you keep it moving peace Bye-bye, Bolton.